Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and on this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade to iOS 13, the final version, the version that is going to be released to the public on September 19, okay? And we are September 13. So there's a website that I'm going to point out on the description and this website is called besttechinfo.com. From here guys, you're going to have to pick what kind of phone do you have. In my case, I have the iPhone 7. So I'm gonna click on this one, and this is the IPSW that I need to download, all right? It tells you the size and everything. So you click on download, and that's gonna go in your download folder. It's gonna take a while. Okay, but first, guys, what do we need to do here? This is the iPhone 7, and I do have the latest version, which is 12.4.1. But this method is gonna work even if you have the betas, the beta one, two, three, any beta for 13.1 it will work also so i'm going to connect it to my computer you do need a computer for this guys you cannot do it over the air connect it to a computer and immediately itunes is going to pop up and it's going to tell me if i trust the computer let's see what happened all right so iphone is popping up they want to allow this computer to access information i'm going to click continue and here i'm going to put trust trust the computer all right welcome to your new iphone okay you're going to select setup as new iphone continue so now it's syncing with your MacBook. You can also do it with a Windows computer. The process is a little bit different. Okay guys, so I finished doing the sync. I'm gonna click on get started. We're gonna click on restore iPhone, but before that we're gonna click on option. So we can select this IPSW file that we just previously downloaded. And now we're gonna see if it's gonna work this time, guys. Oh, look at this guy. It looks like it's working now. I get the Apple on my phone. It took a while though, but uh, I think it's done. So now it's restoring and oh, look at this. It's gonna take a little bit more guys. Oh, but it's going fast. So basically we're gonna get this phone as a brand new phone and we're gonna have to set up the phone for the first time. I'm gonna show you how to skip all the uh, settings so you can, oh, look at that, iPhone. Okay, so I think it's gonna start now. So let's start doing it guys. Let's see what happened. Hello. Uh, English, United States, set up manually. I do need to sign into my Wi Fi account. All right, so it works. Date and privacy, I'm gonna click continue. Touch ID, I would say set up later. Don't use passcode, don't use passcode, don't use passcode. Okay, so I'm gonna say don't transfer apps and data. I'm gonna click on forgot password or don't have an Apple ID. Set up later in settings, don't use, agree, customize settings, instead manually, not now, disable, okay. Siri, later, later, don't share. Dark, continue. Oh, look at that, meet the new home button. That's okay, customize later in settings. Display zoom, choose how you would like to view the iPhone. I would just select continue. And this is the welcome to iPhone as screen. And the first thing we're gonna do is put in more brightness. Oh, look at this. And let's check what version we have, guys. This is good. You see, we are not signing into the iCloud. Uh, we we'll go to general, about, and look at this, guys iOS 14 178577. This is the Gold Master version. This is the original version that is going to be released on September 19. And we have it now, September 13. So now we can play with all the cool stuff about iOS 14. And for that video, look, we have like shortcuts and stuff. This is some new stuff. And that's for another video, guys, showing what is new on iOS 14. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe if you want to help my channel. I will appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, have fun, and bye.